Hi, I'm Owen from Square Balloon. This is a quick tutorial on how to restore um, a Joomla site using Akiva Backup. You can probably follow the same process for WordPress as well. So it's basically um, an Akiva Backup restoration tutorial. And we'll be using um, Akiva Kickstart to do this. So um, the first thing you do is you upload the Kickstart PHP file. And there's a, an ENGB file as well, which has got all the languages in it. Um, when you do it, you visit the URL, you'll receive this message. Press escape to close it or click the button. On here you should receive uh, any up backup archives that you've uploaded. So in this case it ends with a JPA. You can select this in Akiba Backup, but that is what I found to be the best compression, so the smallest file size. So I keep it as a JPA. So if you don't see anything there, it means you probably haven't uploaded it yet to the same directory as Kickstart. Uh, if you have done, you'll see it. If you've got multiples, you'll see multiples. You can see the date is in my saved file name. Uh, you might want to check that yourselves. Uh, everything else I don't normally change, if I'm honest with you. Um, it normally just works as is. So I'm just going to hit start. So what this will do is it will take you through the JPA and it starts to extract the file. So all of the files are now being decompressed and put into the folder where you had them. Now if I click on run the installer, this is basically going to uh, check all my settings. You may find errors here, in which case you probably should correct them. Um, in this case it hasn't had any, but previously when I ran this I needed to upgrade my PHP version, which I did. Uh, I also needed to change uh, output buffering to off, so I've done that now. So I'll click next. Okay, so you can choose which type of uh, database type you have. We've got MySQL I. Um, on my hosting, which is cPanel, it's always localhost. You may have the same, but every now and then I see that you have to type in a database address instead. So it's worth knowing that. This uh, database data you get from cPanel. Um, so in this case, I can find it in MySQL databases. Uh, so here's the database name. So I can upload that uh, here. And then I can go and find the username, which this one's got privileged users is this guy. So I can add that. And now I would need the password, uh, which I don't have. So I'll have to um, come down here and change the password. Obviously I will change all of these things afterwards so that you guys don't have the password. I'm not that crazy. So there's my new password generated. Okay, and so now I can press it in there. So everything looks good. So I'm going to hit next. I don't often do these things. Um, you can choose to drop, back up, or you know some other options there. I don't normally have to do anything with them. You can select which tables to restore. Uh, so you may choose that if you want it just to restore like the content for the site and not all of the other tables um, or maybe you want to inst uh, restore everything except the content because the content's been updated on the live site or something like that so there's your options um, but I don't normally change much normally I'm restoring either to a new site or a backup so I restore the entire thing so here it is going to extract the database so again just like decompressing it and sticking it into the database next so now you've got all your site options it's up to you if you change them or not if you are restoring we often restore from a backup to create a brand new site so we restore um, a default version that we've got with all of our plugins and components and modules and all of the other things we would have a standard in Joomla like our backup software our security software so we might change the site name in this case but in this one we're not going to uh, you might want to check this is okay, but normally it's right. It looks good to me Super username. I often change the super user um, Password when I do these things um, Just because um, You don't want the same password on every single website you make uh, So in this case I will do that I'm actually going to do it on a different page so you don't see what it is because I may not uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, sorry, I got the cold. Leave it now. Good. Uh, I may not 
remember to change the password just for safety sake and also laziness if I'm honest with you um, okay password generated so here you go I'm just going to generate a new password there click next okay now it's asked me to close this window or click clean up so this is my original kickstart.php window click clean up and that just gets rid of all the kickstart files and any unnecessary loose files that you didn't need anymore should all be good I can go to my back end now and I should be able to log in um, obviously I need my username which was uh, previously shown to me I think it was my email address and the password I just generated so there you go I'm logged in so now I have um, generated uh, a, a complete backup now um, from scratch using Akiba Kickstart and Akiba Backup uh, this is Joomla but you could have done it with WordPress as well it's exactly the same process all you need to know is your database information and if you need to know how to create a database I've created another video showing you how to do that in cPanel so watch that one okay thanks for listening if you like this video if you find a good use of it please let us know in the comments so we create more like it thanks